polynomials value of a polynomial if p of x is a polynomial and alpha is any real number then the real number then the real number obtained by replacing x by alpha in f of x is called value of f of x at x equals to alpha and denoted by f of alpha simple generally polynomial should be in the variable some x or y now p of x is a polynomial in variable x now alpha is any real number if you replace x with alpha you will get one more value that is real number that is called the value of the polynomial and it is defined as f of alpha discuss some examples you can understand let p of x equals to 6x plus 9 now alpha is also in constant uh, alpha is also variable now it may be real number so, so i'm taking alpha as 3 that means now at x equals to 2 so in the place of alpha I'm taking 2 now it is denoted by f of 2 or p of 2 sorry here we have taken p so it should be p p of alpha now p of 2 that means in the place of x wherever we see the x value you have to substitute with 2 6 into 2 plus 9 that means 12 plus 9 that equals to 21 same thing if x equals to 5 it means in the place of x we have to substitute the value of 5 that means p of 5 equals to 6 into 5 plus 9 35 plus 9 that means 44 that means 21 is the value of the polynomial at x equal to 44 is the value of the polynomial at x equals to 5 0 of a polynomial so based on the before based on the value of a polynomial we can define the zero of a polynomial if the value of a polynomial becomes value of polynomial becomes zero at particular real number alpha then alpha is called zero of polynomial alpha is called zero of polynomial that means at which value of x that which value of x the polynomial becomes zero that value is called zero of the polynomial you can understand by the examples no, the polynomial x 7x 
minus 14. Now, if we take the value of x, the real number alpha, as 1, the what is the value of polynomial? That means p of 1 equals to, in the place of x, you substitute 1. 7 into 1 equals minus 14. 7 minus 7. 7 minus 14, then you will get minus 7. Now, if we take x equal to 0, now p of 0 equals to 7 into 0 minus 14, 0 minus 14 that equals to minus 14. Now, at x equals to 2, p of 2 equals to, that means in the place of x you have to substitute 2, 7 into 2 minus 14, 14 minus 14, 0. That means now 2 is called 0 of the given polynomial. Now therefore 2 is called 0 of polynomial 0 of polynomial 7x minus 14. That means see if you substitute 1, 0 you got other real number minus 7 and minus 14. But when you substitute the value of 2 you got 0. That means when the value of polynomial becomes 0, remember careful, not x equal to 0, you should not substitute 0 in the exp expression. Whenever the expression becomes 0, so the real number what we have substituted in the expression is called as the 0 of the polynomial. That means here we substituted 2 in the given expression, then it becomes 0. That's why 2 is called the 0 of the given polynomial. And number of zeros of the polynomial <coughs> number of zeros of the polynomial number of zeros note this is note make it as a note number of zeros of a polynomial based on degree of the polynomial polynomial that means number of zeros equals to degree of polynomial if the polynomial has degree 1 zeros 1 if the polynomial has degree 3 number of zeros 3 so remember the same thing so you can do some problems to understand the zero Find 0 of the polynomial eight x plus two eight x plus sixteen. In previous problem we use trial error method and at particular value x equal two it becomes zero. So this this is trial and error method. We can substitute 1, 0, 2, 4, 5. On substituting several numbers, we can get 0 at a particular value. But you cannot go all the time same because sometimes we, may, the x value may be the 8. That means we have to go for 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 8. So, for that, whenever you have asked to find the 0 of any polynomial, first equate, equate the polynomial to 0 because because that you should have to get answer 0 at particular value of x you know the answer it should be 0 that, that's why I'm asking to equate it to 0 then you will get the value of particular x where the expression becomes 0 then 8x equals to minus 6 sorry 16 minus 16 then x equals to minus 16 by 8 8 ones, 8 twos, that means x equals to minus 2. So, at value, at x equals to minus 2, you will get the value of the polynomial 0. That means, now here, minus 2 is called, minus 2 is called 0 of the polynomial 0 of the polynomial 
8x plus 16 8x plus 16 now see here wh what I told before number of zeros depends upon the degree of the polynomial here the degree is 1 so 0 also 1 now find the zero of the polynomial p of x equals to x square plus 5x plus 6 I already told to find the zero we have to equate it to zero that means x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to zero observe that here the degree is 2 so we have to get two zeros here use splitting method 5x can be written as 3x plus 2x plus x equal to 0 see how to do splitting method first multiply the constant with the x square term you will get 6x square now write the factors of 6 one factors of 6x square means x square into sorry x into 6x 2x into 3x so minus x into minus 6x minus 2x into minus 3x means when you multiply these two you will get 6x square that's why these two are the factors so among them add the factors now add the x plus 6x it gives 7x 2x plus 3x 5x minus x plus minus 6x minus 7x minus 2x plus minus 3x minus 5x so after writing the factors of the product of constant and x square term add those factors whenever you get the x term middle term x term see 5x 5x you have to consider those factors in splitting method remember the thing see 6x square can be written as 2x into 3x if you add those factors you have to get the x term that means 2x into 3x 5x so we have to split 5x 5x in 3x and 2x now in first two terms I can take x common then x plus 3 in these two terms I can take 2 common x plus 3 equals to 0 here we have x plus 3 in this term x plus 3 in this term then I can take x plus 3 as common and he left here it left with x here plus 2 see whenever the product becomes 0 either one of the term must be equal to 0 that means either x plus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0 because 0 into anything will give 0 that means 0 into 6 0 6 into 0 that means this should be 0 or this should be 0 in the product either term should be 0 that's why I'm taking x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0 here you will get x equals to minus 3 or x equals to minus 2 that means minus 3 and minus 2 are the zeros of the therefore minus 3 comma minus 2 are zeros of polynomial of polynomial p of x equals to x square plus 5x plus 6